You got me, it's so shit I'm so high, I up and lose it You take me to a safe place We set the on the same base, yeah I'm crazy, you like that Don't back down, no you don't back Good morning angels, it is September 8th, Thursday Me and Nico are getting ready to run some errands And you are invited First we need to go to the post office because we had a whatnot show last night. I haven't seen Sarah in a minute. Everybody that's joining, we are giving away this bag. Here's my pile. Hell f yeah. We were only live for like an hour and a half about last night, so pretty good. We made like $100 about. And I have a couple Depop packages in this pile as well, and one Mercari package. We already walked Michi for the day. Hey, right, Michi. Good boy. <laughs> And now we need to go to Target. This is what is on our list. Stain remover, for sure. Dryer sheets, definitely. Face wipes, Waterloo. The batteries in our scale that we used to weigh packages ran out, so we need to get a new battery for that. And also our Mickey Mouse poster, like, finally had enough and fell off of our wall. So we might get a new frame. It looks really, really sad right now. And I really miss having it in the bedroom. So if we can get one, um, I'd like to, hopefully. I also want to show you guys this new Playboy clock I got. I got this in the mail yesterday from Mercari. I've literally wanted one of these for like two years now. And this one was the cheapest one I've seen. It was like 28 plus shipping. So I decided to just go ahead and use my Mercari trade and get it. I also got these eyelashes that just came in the mail. That is exciting. And then yesterday I also got from Mercari. It was like a really cute vintage like Playboy washcloth set. It's like like playmate and playboy so like one of them is like black it's like his and hers and the other one's pink but the only thing with those is that they fucking reek like somebody's basement on steroids like just horrible smell and the lady i got them from did say she got them from an estate sale so she didn't even bother like smelling them because they were like new in the box but they weren't actually new in the box not a big deal but i have them soaking in a bucket right now because they're so rank and we also, oh, I need to add that to our wish list. Or not our wish list, our shopping list. But we need to get those little unstoppables things because those work really, really good. Getting all the smells out of everything. Like one time when I bought those Hysteric Glamour sheets, they had kind of like a faint cigarette smell and I washed them with the Unstoppables and it like, it was gone, like one wash, so. Yeah, anyway, we're gonna go to Target. We're gonna go to Trader Joe's. We're gonna go to the post office. Let's go. Nothing more to do when there's no Remember how big that frame is? 41 by like 28. I think so. Here we go! We need tape too. Should we get that first? Monster time? Monster time, bitches. We also grabbed the batteries, batteries. which are not that exciting. Here they are. Whoop. It'll be exciting when I can weigh things again. Yeah. Guessing kind of sucks when you have like something you know is way over a pound. Yeah. Because then I'm like, how over a pound is it? Okay, these dryer sheets look like they're gonna be bomb. I wanted to get this laundry detergent last time we saw it, or it was like a fabric softener or something. Cause yeah, if it was detergent, I probably would've just gotten it. It was something we didn't need. But this yeah. we do need, we need it really bad. So, let's try it out. <laughs> yeah. Look at all of these yeah. unstoppable. Oh my God, and they do have bees too. Ooh, vanilla bean and lavender. We could get the matching match. Ooh. Oh yeah, this is the thing I was noticing last time. Should we? Well, I got some stinky things. Right? This is the one that I tried last time. Like, that, that worked really, really well. Good. Was that one fresh? We got yeah. fresh, lush, woodland rain. This one's huge. Yeah. Maybe we should get this big one. Yeah. Oh, it's sparkling amber rose. Drift. I love this stupid laundry. <laughs> <laughs> You're officially a little housewife. Yeah. Oh my god, you little homemaker. What can I say? What can I say? What else do we need? Oh, stain remover. We need the um. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my goodness. Get you feral with your tail. I don't know which one. I don't think either of these are the one I had, but I'm sure they're both good. That one's Max Force. Yeah, I like the sound of that. This one's a little different, but it's Unstoppables. Oops. This one. Okay. I'll get that one. Man, there's really a uh, scented everything nowadays. There's even a scent hole. I literally want these so bad. It's oh sick. My God. 
Oh, it's September 1st and all of a sudden everything's spooky. Pumpkin spice creamer. This is a must try. Black pepper and a dash of nutmeg. <laughs> Halloween time. Spooky. Oh, these freaks. Oh my god. Be so fruit, so fruit. Personal favorite. Fruit fruit. <laughs> As to making a hocus pocus too. That's cool. This is coming home with us. Oh my goodness. Y'all know I love a good fruity pebble. Oh. <laughs> right. These three too. Oh my goodness. Fun. Halloween crunch. Oh, Frankenberry. Look at all the fun new stuff. That looks yummy. That's yummy. This looks yummy. Happened here. Oh, they're all smashed. They'll never get the chips out this way. Oh my god. They're all gonna crush. They'll never pop. My god. How about some Krabby Patties? Your employee of the month after all. That's colorful and fun looking. I wonder what people would be most excited about. What have we here? Well now maybe we should try another Holy Waterloo. Shit. Throw her in. Spiced apple? Oh yeah. It'd be crazy enough to work. <laughs> yes. Oh, what do we got here? I like the little Frankenstein panda. He yeah. is just adorable. It's just hard because some people are vegan. Bacon and so bones, pumpkin spice Oreo, pumpkin spice Milano, pumpkin spice Hostess, pumpkin spice oh, Twinkie. Ghost Pops. How cute. Woo. Oh, he's cute. Look at this. That is just scary, honestly. I'm a bigger fan of the one next to it. This guy? Yeah. He's cute. He is the cutest one. I like that one. I kind of like this thing too. Yeah. And also this guy. Uh, Wait, what's this? Oh, oh my god, cute. Cool. Look how big. That's kind of built for a thrasher. Yeah, definitely. I like this one. It's like uh, oozing goo out of its mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we found these in the clearance section, but we're skeptical. Hey, oh. 650. These are half off. Oh, oh that's shit. not bad. We All need right. to get it. What's the scent? Why is this so half off? Outdoor fresh. Hmm. 160. That is insane. We're gonna smell so good. It's Michi's favorite cookies, but it's like the Oreos with the cream filling. Uh, that's orange. Ew, but we're not. So cute. Play. He has so many treats at home right now, but next time. And also, look at these pumpkin and cream cheese. Ooh. So freaking cute. Franken snouts? Phoebe Apple and Honey? I thought it was Franken snouts. <gasps> Wait, come on this side. There's all a bunch of cat stuff. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Salmon and sweet potato. Pew. Look at she could be a, one of these angler fish. Oh my god, cute. Oh my god, that'd be so embarrassing for her. Yeah, she would be so embarrassed. Oh my god, baby. <laughs> Five bucks. Think of the photo opportunities. I don't know. Vote in the comments below. Should I come back and get this? <laughs> this is the last one though, so. Oh baby. <sighs> We're gonna restock. You know, the season just started. Yeah, we'll see. Halloween waste bags. Bats. Orange and black. Oh my god, cute. <laughs> Oh, oh. What about the little leg warmers? Oh, look at that cat with the it's leg warmers cat on. leggings. <laughs> look at her. Fucking god. Oh, look a collagen roll. Oh, yuck. I don't want to get Michi a collagen that roll. Sick. That's a hoof. Wow. Tasty human. What the hell? Oh my god, they're human flavor. What the hell? <laughs> Humans taste like a mixture of chicken liver and beef. Look at all this. This is a bunch of nonsense. This is what happens when you sell clothing for a living. Jesus. That's gonna be like oh half of our fucking money right there. Oh, baby, they can match. That cat is so dumb. Baby. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All these dogs are so embarrassed. Oh, this one's proud, actually. Good boy. Trust me. This cat looks so fat. What do we got here now? It smells like heaven, works like hell. Oh my god. On the frames. And oh, uh. Arms. Oh my god, that looks really <laughs> scary. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Check it out. Check it out. Check it, check it, check it out. What the hell? That's pretty dope. <laughs> It's so cute. That's this one is so pineapple-y. That is a, a cliche little pineapple there. Yeah, that's cute. Digging a big of the pineapple dough. <laughs> I just don't know if I'll be able to keep that alive. Yeah, it seems like something I'd probably kill really quick. I know, and then I'll cry, so. Yeah, we... Better just cut our losses. Every day there's a new reason to cry. Oh my god. Happy tears. Yeah, this camera. is actually kind of expensive for Trader Joe's. Like 12 it's bucks. Halibut. Oh, hand pie. <laughs> Should have just heard her reaction. She said, oh! Uh, last time they didn't have it. Gives me hope Damn. for the questionable fish. Yeah, you like these? Yeah. So you get two of these. 
Parepas. Where is the Korma? Where the hell's the Korma? God, I miss the Korma. Yeah, the lamb vindaloo is nothing to write home about. Oh my god, they sell the vindaloo yeah, and not the, the questionable fish. We've got gyoza dipping sauce. Ooh. We are getting shrimp gyozas. Should we get it? It's only $2.79. It'll go with the shrimpies. Okay, two quesadillas, two bao buns, two chicken tikka masala, fiery chicken, chicken butter. I've never tried this before, but it looks pretty good. They also have this tamarind sauce, so I'm really excited about trying. And then these are classic. That's what we got so far. Feeling good? So good. We're doing good. Stop that. You see what I added to the cart? Ruffles. I almost forgot. I feel like the salads over here just never look that good. The chicken okay. looks No, not at all. Like, that looks like shit. Oh, wait a minute. Meat treat. <laughs> I found a cheeseburger burrito. I think this looks good because it has like pickle relish and stuff. Boop. Boop. Oh, subscribe. <laughs> oh my god, the charcuterie pit Oh, mama. So it's like it's not even in packaging. Yeah. Oh, it feels Damn. delicious. Is this like, oh, it is ready to eat. Yeah, oh my God. Squishy. It's so squishy. Ooh, this one's new. That's kind of cool. <laughs> okay, grab some more oat milk, brioche buns, tomatoes, avocado. We're gonna make sandwiches with this. And I grabbed Pico de Gallo for the Berea tacos. Can go grab his favorite kombucha flavor? Bacon. Hell yeah. You love fruit? Can't go wrong with a lime. Eat limes, do crime. Yeah. Y'all set? Yeah. Good morning, angels. It is Sunday today. I'm very excited because I now have five days off in a row from my retail job because I got my coworker, Julie, to take my Wednesday shift. Shout out, Julie. Thank you so much. I wrote down an entire plan, how I kind of want things to go the next few days. And the first thing I want us to do is get brunch. And there is frosting on this note, so don't mind that. I've literally been talking about wanting brunch for the last like few weeks. And obviously we've been going to the state fair, so there was no time to do that. And summer is gonna be sadly ending soon. So I was like, if we don't get brunch today, we may never. So that's what we're gonna do. I really want that really yummy, yummy coffee drink that I get usually when we go to Ola Repa, and I want the chicken and cachapas really bad. So baby, where are you? Let's go, hurry, hurry. Let's go. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. All right, y'all, we made it to brunch. It goes till three. What time is it right now? Uh, I'm not sure you have my phone. <laughs> oh, well, it's like one something. Lots gonna work. <laughs> Glad we got here when we did. I usually only have one, and that's usually plenty, but I haven't had a drink since Tuesday. Yeah. I've earned it. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're gonna go to Buffalo Exchange after this because we were already gonna do that anyway but I had such a nightmare of a time getting dressed this morning and it made me really crabby because like I was trying to wear this hat really badly and nothing matched with it because I guess I don't have like very much blue in my closet but like everything I was trying to wear just wasn't working and it made me really angry and now I realize that I definitely need some new stuff in my closet because uh yeah we're going into a new season and I feel completely f lost so hopefully Hopefully there's some good stuff in there. I have a lot of trades still. I got like $300 in trade. If there's anything in there that I like, it's coming home. I know that. I made it funky because it gave me the option. We're about to be turnt shopping. We're about to be. First of all, it's gonna be a turnt scooter ride. Then it's gonna be turnt shopping. My favorite. Except then I'm way too likely to buy things that I absolutely don't need, but it's fine. So if I really don't need it, I'll just sell it. Really not that big of a deal. I love brunch because it's like microdosing vacation. It feels like I'm somewhere else right now because of the tropical vibe. God bless. <laughs> Alright, y'all, 
Well, we just got back from Buffalo Exchange. I got some cute stuff there. I got some stuff to sell on Depop and I got a couple things to hopefully keep. Hey, Michi. And we just hit the liquor store too because it's Sunday and they close at six here. So we may as well stop and get some things because our fridge is full of food and only food for the first time ever. So we had to load back up and this is our haul. Here we have the Jumbo Twisted Tea Party Pack because it's been a while. I have my Jumbo Raspberry Twisted Tea. Nico got peach. We got four of the THC seltzers. These are really, really good, and they are the cheapest we've seen them at this particular place. $4.50 instead of $6, can't go wrong. And I'm really excited to try this. I've never seen this before, honestly. So it's like a alcoholic coffee drink and it looks like it's gonna be really, really good. So I'm gonna try one of these soon, probably, like after we walk Nietzsche. Where do you go? Nietzsche. Nietzsche, where are you? Oh my God. You wanna go for a walk, don't you? Oh my God, he's freaking out. You Mr. Pukey wants to go for a walk. Oh my God, what a spaz. So yeah, we're gonna walk this thing. Oh my God. And then... Oh, you like walks? <laughs> anyway, okay. we're gonna walk Michi and then <laughs> we're gonna do laundry. With all our new laundry supplies that we got at Target the other day, I'm very excited. I did a load of laundry the other day with the Unstoppables and my god, I forgot to tell you guys, the Playboy towels, they're fixed now. They smell perfectly fine. They're hanging in the bathroom. I'll show you quick. Ta-da! So I have like the black one and the pink one together, his and hers, cute little Playboy towels off in the corner over here. I need to clean the bathroom really bad. We need to clean the whole house really bad, but the kitchen's mostly fine still after I redecorated it the other day, which I made a TikTok if you guys are missing home tours, which I know you are, everybody's dying for a goddamn home tour and I understand, but it looks crazy half the time. So I need to get it looking really, really good in order to do that, so I'm working on it. But yeah, for now, now we've got the new Playboy clock up here. We got the neon Playboy sign in the corner here. Yes. Looking really good. Love that. My neighbor moved away and he left this Hello Kitty toaster on a free table when we were having our yard sale. And I couldn't even fucking believe it. Like I was like, I can have this. Cause literally I had one of these before and it almost burned our entire apartment down due to only my own fault. Cause I had it on top of a toaster oven and like the cord burnt together. So I'm never gonna do that again. It's not gonna happen again. We're moving on from that. And we have a new one now which is all I've ever wanted, honestly. So that's here. I put the functional toaster oven away. And by the way, these Fruity Pebbles, even though I don't think they're really any different, they taste like at least three times better than normal Fruity Pebbles. Three it must be times. Three times. Three. They taste so good. I don't know what it is. Must be something about the color combination that's tricking my brain. Like I just, I'm obsessed. I keep eating them every time I get home from work. But yeah, um, Playboy rug, plants looking good. I got these it's weird so geometric things up finally which are mirrored i love these so much we thrifted these for fucking ever ago and i didn't really know where i wanted to put them but they look really good here you want me to show off your frog yes the window's the dirtiest part of this entire place here's nico's frog he looks good <laughs> it's a family heirloom you're a family heirloom nah. I have one more thing to review for you guys, which I almost forgot about, but it is not to be forgotten. The Spiced Apple Waterloo is a 10 out of 10 shrimps. Amazing. Love it. If you like fall flavored things, you will love this. 100%. It's like way better than I even thought it would be. So yeah, if you see it, pick that shit up. All right, angels, update. I'm almost done doing the laundry and Nico is making us dinner. Thank you, baby. Hi. We're making the Berea tacos that we got at Trader Joe's. I'll show you guys what they look like. This is what they look like when they're like fresh out of the frying pan. And then we're gonna add lime and pico de gallo. But yeah, this is like definitely one of our like new favorite things that Trader Joe's has had because they taste almost as good as when we get this kind of thing at a restaurant so yeah Michi says hi <laughs> just sitting all proper I have to show you guys some of the stuff I got at Buffalo Exchange but I'll do that later it's here right now though I've been spending a ton of time organizing this cupboard I wish I could show you a before and after but just know that it was really really bad if you follow me on Instagram I did post a picture of my vitamin collection and said that I needed to organize it before it collapses all around me and now it's an order of when they expire so this is like imminent danger row right here. This 
is 2023, 2024, 2025, and even a couple 2026s in the way back. So yeah, I would say it's pretty good for now. I told Nico to just start eating these as fast as he can, anything over in this area over here. So that should be good, at least for a while. And all of our seasonings and stuff are kind of in a row right here on this shelf. And then this is where we keep like my aluminum foil for like when I bleach my hair and our weed gummies and stuff like that. So yeah, pretty happy with this achievement of the night. I'm really excited to eat. Getting hangry, I told Nico, and it's true. So thank you. I was getting scared. <laughs> All right, y'all, it's time to pack up my packages that I have to ship tomorrow before we go to the bins. Tomorrow we're planning on going to the Goodwill outlet really early, hopefully, then hopefully filming, and then we're doing a whatnot show. We're for sure doing the whatnot show. So I have to either wash the stuff also before the whatnot show or after. But yeah, that's our agenda for tomorrow. I also am very pleased to say that the Mickey Mouse poster is hanging up again. Um, I really missed having that in back of us for the whatnot shows. So hell yeah for that. And now I'm getting kind of sleepy. So I apologize if I'm talking kind of insane. But here's everything that sold the last couple days. I think this is from the last three days. So I'll start with this one, which is a Johnny Was scarf that is silk that I got at the Goodwill outlet a while back. This sold for $57 and then shipping. This sold on Mercari and that's one of the only things I've sold on Mercari recently. I sold this pair of Adidas sweatpants recently but those are probably almost to their buyer soon. So I'm gonna start giving everybody the Halloween candy that I picked out at Target when we were there. So I'm gonna put them also in these little bubble wrap baggies because I got these free from work and if I didn't take them home, they were just going to go in the trash. So it's not like I'm wasting plastic by using them to put the candy in or anything. So yeah, let me see if I can pull up prices for this stuff really quick. Okay, so this little Mogoth rhinestone tank top, you might recognize I wore this when we went to Rob Zombie recently. So I wore it once and then I sold it. This sold for $28 plus shipping on Depop. I'm gonna put that in my little Cheetah Poly mailer with thank you note and candy. Next one is a bundle. Somebody bought this little seashell print blouse with this little vintage 90s floral dress. The blouse sold for $10.80 and the dress sold Sold for $11.20 and they got free shipping because they bundled. Next, this little wool striped beret sold. This one I remember Nico found at the bins when we were there in the past. And this one sold for $15.40 plus shipping. I also sold this little black gothic tutu. This was also from the Goodwill outlet. This one sold for $24 plus shipping. I also sold the adorable little Rebecca Bonbon shorts, which again were from the Goodwill outlet. And these, I, after I looked up, I realized they're from the same person who created Hello Kitty, actually. So that explains why they're so freaking cute. That sold for $30 plus shipping. And then last night, I sold this vintage 90s t-shirt that says, not only am I perfect, I'm a redhead too. This person who bought it said that it is the person's birthday who they're sending it to. So they asked if I would include a little birthday card. So I ripped up this little Hello Kitty thank you like slash greeting card. And I wrote on the back of it, have be birthday gorgeous so that is really really cute that sold for 24 plus shipping if I didn't say that already and this I picked up in a whatnot show because nobody else bid on it so I got it for like a dollar and then last but not least I have this bundle of two items which this one is a silk skirt that sold for $7.50 that one was on super sale and then this camouflage jacket I got at Buffalo Exchange during their dollar sale this sold for $28 and then they got free shipping for bundling. So yeah, cute little amount of stuff. And actually it looks like people's whatnot packages are starting to arrive. So that's really awesome. That's from the last show we had. Yay, I'm like really excited to have the show tomorrow and I hope it goes well because we should have a lot of cool new stuff in it. So fingers crossed y'all. And that's it for me because this is gonna take every last ounce of energy that I have in me. So. 
Good night. Good morning, angels. It is Tuesday. It's actually more like three o'clock right now, but so far me and Nico like woke up, walked Michi, we filmed our Goodwill outlet haul from the last day, and now we kind of make breakfast. We made a lot of the Trader Joe's stuff we got the other day. It looks so good. It's the bacon that we picked out, and I got some eggs from work. I got these like cool heirloom eggs from a local farm. And then we added the avocado, the tomato, and then the really weird green little bits are the tiger bites stuff. So this is like the most real breakfast I think we've made in a long time and I'm really excited. Hell yeah. I just remembered that I have to show you guys still what I bought at Buffalo Exchange the other day. So I'll show you the two things I got for myself first really quick. I got this cute little faux fur layering vest that is from Armani Exchange. It was $25 but I did use trade so I was like whatever. It's kind of a little expensive honestly for Buffalo but it's really cute and I think it'll be a good like accent to some wintry fall outfits and then I got this like really cool maxi skirt and I've never seen like this brand before this is what the tag looks like this was $14 and it definitely has like Justo Barcelona vibes but also like very Fruits Magazine Harajuku energy so I thought this would be really fun also for fall and winter just because of the color palette too but yeah I just think this is such a cool pattern and I'm excited to try that out Okay, and so these are the two items that I'm gonna sell on my Depop. So this one's like a really crazy corset and it definitely has like Ed Hardy kind of vibes and like the color scheme is very Y2K. It's got these dragons and it's got like the corset running down the back. Here is the brand on that one. Just says sexy lingerie and fashion. I did 15 on this with my trade and it just has these really cool like ties at the bottom too. So that's gonna be really cool. I thought this would really pop in my shop and like definitely get some attention. So that's why I grabbed Grab that and this one is really cool as well it's from the brand punk rave and this one I paid $14.54. I love these buckles. This one is very dystopia chic. It's got all these like little ribbons and stuff that tie. So again, this would be a really good layering piece, especially if you have like some kind of like really cool sleeve coming out of here, and, like a cool hat, some leg warmers. I thought that would be a total vibe. So yeah, I'll be looking for these two in my Depop, hopefully now or very soon. All right, babes, and now I just wanted to pop on again and show you my Depop pop sales from the past couple days. I think this is just from the last day or two. Yeah, one day ago it says on these. So I sold my Scary Miss Mary hoodie that you guys might have seen me pick up from a yard sale earlier in the year. I paid like 15 for this at a yard sale and sold it for 86 plus 10 shipping. It's super fucking cool. I'm not surprised that it sold for that much by any means. And I'm adding a little candy with every order right now because it's Halloween time. I also sold this jacket which I got from my friend Tyler's yard sale, which they were sweet enough to sell to me for $1. I sold this one for $61.20, and then I think it was like $12 or so for shipping on that one. Super cool little mid-2000s Miss London faux fur jacket. And then I sold this bundle as well. I've had both of these things in my shop for quite a while, so they were pretty heavily discounted. This Michael Kors skirt I sold for $18. And then this really cool kind of like Vogue model top I sold for 15 and then they got free shipping for bundling. So yeah, super cute stuff going out. I have this big pile of whatnot stuff to ship next and that is everything in the duffel bag which is filled to the top and then all these things that we got from the Goodwill outlet the other day that already sold as well. Hell yeah. Okay, also I just had to show off for a second. We were at the bins yesterday and I found all these iridescent bags. There's 20 bags in each each pack and I got three packs and I also found this ribbon so I got all this stuff for like basically free because it's like weightless and I just wanted to show you guys how cute the goodie bags turned out like is this not a whole vibe like I can't contain my excitement that I found these yesterday because free supplies like hello free 
fucking cute ass supplies. I am so excited about this. So yeah, that is a come up for sure. I'm gonna be sad when these are gone. It's one of my favorite things about the Goodwill outlet is you literally never know what you're gonna find. And like these could have just been thrown into the literal landfill because who else is gonna want them, honestly? So hell yes, love to see it. Hi angels, little update for the day. Today was Wednesday. I usually work at my retail job on Wednesdays, but a couple days ago I asked one of my wonderful coworkers, Julie, if she would work for me because I decided that I would rather go to the bins with Nico because he's been off on Wednesdays lately. And usually when I work on Wednesdays, when we get home or when I get home from work, we'll have a whatnot show because it's one of the only days that like Nico's off and can do it with me. So basically what we did today, instead of me going to work, is we went to the bins again for the second time this week. And I really didn't want to, honestly. Like I woke up, I was still tired from the last Whatnot show and Good Goodwill bins run we did. So didn't want to, but we did, pulled it together. Um, I dropped off all the packages from Monday's Whatnot show. So that's the first thing we did. Then we got to the Goodwill outlet and it was actually like a really slow day there today, like in terms of like how busy it was. And they were like putting bins out pretty fast fast and I pretty quickly and early on found like a bunch of really good stuff so I was so excited like I found like a couple pairs of like Miss Me jeans that this lady gave me because I noticed her grab them that was so sweet what an absolute angel I found like some Betsy Johnson stuff and cute little like Y2K things and yeah just like a really good like mix of things a lot of really good stuff for whatnot and so after we got out of there which I spent a hundred and seven dollars there too which is crazy because it's yeah by the pound so that means I had like 50 pounds of stuff today crazy so after that we went to Jimmy John's and got some food I ate like half of it put gas in the car got home immediately had to just basically start unpacking everything and load it into the whatnot show because I scheduled a whatnot show for eight o'clock today and so when we got home we had about two hours to prepare for that and then start it. So then we walked Michi and yeah basically just started loading as many things into the whatnot store as I could and yeah then we did it at eight o'clock. Went really well. I'm super happy. We made about $188 tonight during whatnot and we were live for about three hours and I don't remember if I said how we did on Monday but we made $300 on Monday I believe. So pretty good, honestly, super happy. I'm using that as kind of like my piggy bank fund for like things that I want to do this month that I normally don't have the funds for, things that I normally sometimes would use like a credit card for, I'm using my whatnot funds for. So I really appreciate you guys and your support as always when I go live on there with Nico. So I have everything organized now into like piles of like what we need to film tomorrow because we're gonna do another Goodwill haul then since we were there today. And I know I'm just rambling like on and on, but I just want to tell you guys like what our day-to-day -day life is like. <laughs> So it's just like a lot of little tedious things. But basically I have everything separated into piles of like what we already filmed that sold tonight and then what we haven't filmed that sold tonight. And then after we film tomorrow, I have to wash everything that's sold that's new that I can wash. And then I'm gonna pack it up. And then Friday before I go to my retail job, I'm gonna ship it. So basically, yeah, that's what we did today and that's what's happening tomorrow. Then on Saturday, we're seeing Uffy and Alice Glass. I'm so excited. So that's gonna be um, probably the next time I see you guys. So that's really exciting. But when I came home today, I noticed that I got a package and these are some boots that I ordered and I literally just ordered them like two days ago. So they got here literally so fast. And I thought it'd be really fun to unbox them for you guys because I'm super excited to show them off. I've been having trouble lately figuring out like a neutral colored boot to wear with outfits because a lot of mine are broken. I actually had to throw a pair away the other day because they were just like literally unwearable officially. Ugh, these are so f***ing cute. Oh my god. I discovered that these existed while browsing Depop and the ones on Depop weren't my size but I looked them up on eBay and I found them in my size. Oh my God, these are so cute. 
These are Uggs. I love this little Ugg logo too, honestly. I love Ugg. <laughs> but yeah, oh my god, these fucking are so cute. Little skull boots. Let's see if I could like try them on for you guys. Wait. No, nope, there's stuffing in there. If this popped when I was trying to put it on, I would have had a fucking heart attack. Ta-da! Kind of. <laughs> Those are so freaking cute. I'm excited to wear these and style them. It's the kind of thing that I'll be wearing probably like year round too, like whether it's winter or not, because damn, what a fucking vibe. These are so like 2007. I'm so glad. And they were only like $50 too, I think, or something like that, because they accepted my offer. So yeah, that's super cool. All right, thanks guys. I will see you soon. <laughs>
phone and the phone was still on and it wasn't cracked or anything so that was really good and basically i i kind of thought it was locked at first so i got weirded it out because i was like well if it's not locked why would they want to get rid of this phone and then i got kind of like freaked out for a second because again like a lot of sketchy shit goes on in my neighborhood so i'm like well i don't want this to be like tied to me or something so i set it back down for a minute but i put it back on the grass and i set it down face down where i kind of like knew it was and then so me and nico like looked at it quick put it down went back into the house to kind of like regroup and think about what to do next but then Nico was like, no, it is locked. He's like, you can just see the notifications on the screen. And I was like, oh, I was like, well, that was really confusing for me. Because, you know, my head is, head is like spiraling and I'm like, why the f*** would they want to get rid of a perfectly good phone that's not even locked? Because obviously, if they can't get into the phone, it's kind of useless to them. So, and also you can track a cell phone, which could get them in trouble, obviously, if they're driving a stolen car. Once Nico told me that, I was like, okay, well, let's walk Michi. Um, let's go look at that phone again. So we did. Walked over to the phone, picked it up. There's a bunch of notifications on the screen. One of them was like an Instagram name that we decided was the owner of the phone's Instagram handle. So we went to Instagram and I tried to like follow her, Nico did, um, but her account was private and obviously it's like, well, we have her cell phone, so it's not like she's checking Instagram. So then I was like, damn, how else can we like get a hold of her? We're like looking through the notifications on the screen and we end up seeing something from like a health clinic and it had her first name on it. And it also had a really long, weird last name. So we start looking up the last name on like Facebook and stuff, but we're not really coming up with anything. Eventually, we start getting notifications on the phone that we can see where we can tell that she's made it to a computer or whatever to use Facebook because all of a sudden, we're getting notifications on that phone and people are like, you know, saying things like, where did this happen and stuff like that. So we could tell that she was using a computer and she was on Facebook, but I still didn't know her name and I couldn't find her on Facebook. So one of the people, their name popped up, it was like Jay. And so I, I didn't even have Messenger set up on my phone. So I had to like re-download Messenger to do this, which was super annoying because my phone is just dumb but anyway i messaged jay because i was like this guy must be at least kind of talking to her i was like i don't know how well they know each other but whatever jay i'm gonna message jay so i went on facebook messaged jay i was like are you talking to somebody whose name is i'm not gonna tell the real name because just for privacy sake but i was like are you talking to somebody named this about a stolen phone and he said yes they were robbed at gunpoint Bingo. So, just as we suspected, but anyway, I said, we have her phone. I told him what we saw, and I asked if he could let her know and get a hold of me. And then I was like, well, actually, because I thought it'd be easier if I could just message her. I was like, well, what's her full name? So then I, he gave me her full name, which was completely different from the last name that was popping up on, like, the medical notification we got. So, yeah, just, like, really, like, confusing. Like, we had to do a lot of sleuthing to figure this all out. But... We found the post on Facebook where she had made a post saying that she got robbed at gunpoint. They took her purse, they took her phone, and they even took her shoes. And you know, like there's a whole big threat about it. So I was just like, oh my God, like I have your phone. This is what happened, blah, blah, blah. So she ended up finally seeing my message and I told her that we could meet up somewhere so she could get it back. And it's so funny because get this, you guys. This is just so random, I just have to share. But we were at Buffalo Exchange me and Nico and I was like do you want to meet us at Buffalo Exchange because I figured we should meet somewhere you know well known in the area but not at my house or whatever and she actually suggested as an alternative to Buffalo Exchange the co-op that I work at and she didn't even know that I worked there she was just like oh this co-op's just a couple of blocks away from there do you want to meet me there and I was like perfect so we decided on a time um to meet up and she came in and she is such a beautiful woman first of all like absolutely fucking gorgeous and she was so excited and i also bought her a pack of rescue remedy gum because it's really good for like when you experience a trauma so i like gave her her phone and i gave her this pack of trauma gum <laughs> and it was so funny she was just like what is your sign i was like i'm a taurus and she was like i'm a virgo and she was like um this and that and i was like yeah I have cancer rising you know but yeah she was so fucking sweet um she was like i owe you like i need to take you out for a drink and i was like dude it's nothing but like if you want to go out for a drink like 
it's on like let's do it so yeah basically just an interesting day to say the least and yeah i'm just glad that i was able to help in any way in this situation because you guys know i've told you before but I carry a baseball bat around with me. I'll show you guys because I know you've asked to see it. But this is my bag that I carry to work. And this is my bat that hangs out of it. And I'm not saying that my neighborhood is like the worst neighborhood in the world. It's not. But sh happens like this even in the daytime. Daytime. Broad ass daylight. And guess what? The people who did this to her had been on like a fucking crime spree. Like literally it said that they had gotten like five different people at least. So you know, like it happens and it's not like I'm crazy for carrying a bat with me. And do I think I'm gonna ever like use my bat? Not really, even though I have used it to scare people away before. The point of the bat is that I look like somebody who will fight back. And that alone is a turn off to anybody who might wanna mug you. I'm sorry, but it is. So they're gonna see this and be like, mm, maybe we'll get somebody else, usually. Like, I swear to God, like, nothing like this has ever fucking happened to me. And I don't know if that's coincidence. I'm just saying, like, I just, I want to look sketchier than the sketchy people, you know? Because then at least they don't know what they're up against. And it's probably, yeah, going to be a turn off. But anyway, okay. Dishes are in the dishwasher. Sometimes when I walk Michi at night, I like to bring a can of twisted tea with me because it makes me feel more in control. And Nico will probably be home from work pretty soon, so then hopefully he can like join me and whatever. But anyway, back to some happy talk. Me and Nico went to Buffalo Exchange earlier and I got some really cute stuff. So I'm really excited to show you guys a couple things I got. And I'm actually doing a, a like mystery like outfit kind of bundle swap. I'm very, very excited about that. They messaged me, I don't know, like two weeks ago or so. Time is an illusion at this point, but I've been finding them some really great stuff when I've been at Buffalo Exchange, and today was no exception. So that's gonna be fun. I think we're gonna do that swap at the end of October. And I sold the Buffalo Exchange today. I brought them a ton of stuff. Some of it was stuff from the bins, and some of it was stuff that I had had on Depop for like way too fucking long. So I brought like three bags of stuff, and I'm not even kidding you guys. Like, this is all that I came home with. One, one bag of like maybe eight things. So they cleared me the f out and I could not be happier because we're having a flea market on Saturday. And so that'll be in the next video. But I was trying to decide like what to bring because it's kind of like a punk, like music um, centered flea market. But it, you know, you could bring anything you want. But I was trying to like decide how to like narrow it down what to bring. And I was like, I'll sell the Buffalo Exchange first see what they take then I'll spend my time pricing this stuff because if you don't price things for a flea market people might be too scared to ask you how much things cost and it's just a nightmare so you want to have things priced so I'm gonna spend all day Thursday morning probably doing that with Nico and fun fact Thursday is our um, anniversary our dating anniversary so we're going out to dinner that night and again that'll be in the next vlog I'm just ending this video with a long ass and clean with me while I talk to you guys, I guess, because I've got a lot of things to say, and I feel like I never have time to just, like, yeah, set up the tripod and, like, get things done and, like, do this, so that's why I'm doing it right now, and I hope you guys like that, and if you don't, then, you know, whatever, that's fine, but let me know if you do want me to just talk to you guys and clean sometimes, because I, I've got an endless list of things to do at all times, so, you know, I fucking may as well, but anyway, I sold the Buffalo Exchange today, this is, like, the second highest amount of trade I think I've ever gotten, but it's the highest amount of trade with the least amount of things that I've sold, I think, so I got $425 in trade today, that is awesome so I just decided um, I wasn't gonna try anything on today and um, because we were kind of in a hurry Nico had to go to work so I just bought everything that I wanted and I didn't even try it on so I'm gonna show you guys a couple of things that I got okay so these are the two things I got for myself the rest is probably I'm either gonna sell it on Depop or give it to the mystery bundle swap. So I'm just gonna wait on that. But I got this hoodie with a back cutout that I am literally so excited about because my favorite tattoo is my back tattoo. And I love hoodies. I love black hoodies. So I think this is like gonna be something that I wear a lot. And it was a little expensive. It must be like some nice brand. I can't read the tag very well. But this is so cool. Like I am speechless at this back cutout. Like if I wasn't wearing this t-shirt right now, you guys, it would be such a vibe. But 
this is just gonna be something I live in. Like what? It's kind of expensive too, it's like $26. The coolest thing that I got that I think you guys will really like is this fucking juicy couture hoodie. Look at these rhinestones, y'all. What in the fuck? So here is the tag, and this was also kind of expensive for Buffalo Exchange, it was $36, but I think we can all agree that it was well worth it, because honestly, I've been looking for like a sweatsuit for a while now, and like if I could just manifest the pants, that would be awesome. So yeah, here's that. So freaking cute. I'm very pleased. I'm glad we had time to do that today. Ooh. So yeah, um, I got a couple cool groceries today too. I'm gonna show you guys just for fun. I got this, which is a weird little treat that you eat with coffee in the morning, I guess. But I already tried it. Um, but yeah, it's like a peanut butter. It's almost like a crunchy weird brownie. It's phenomenal. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys in case you ever see it somewhere. You should absolutely try this. It's called Halva, it's organic, it's vegan. It's gluten-free, it's like $14, but I swear to God it's worth it. Okay, and the last thing I wanna show you guys is I made flyers for the flea market that we're in, and I think they turned out really, really cute. I used a Hello Kitty coloring page from my coloring book to kind of like scan and make copies of. I want it to be music themed obviously because that's like I said what the flea market kind of is. It's like a record and music shop. So I think that's gonna be good. Yeah, what a crazy week y'all. It's been a roller coaster for sure. Like lots of ups and downs, but six planets are in retrograde. So like what the hell else would we expect, I guess? <sighs> yeah, well, I guess I'm gonna call it a day here. But thank you guys for watching, and I'm excited to see you again next week, and it's gonna be fun. So, yeah.